Hey, um, you know what? I want to ask that we uh, give a big hand to Larry Holland and Torm House for putting this thing together. Um, you know, this happened last year about, well, I guess it was this week, this weekend a year ago. And uh, during that time, one of the comments I made was, let's not see last year be the end of what was happening. Let it be a beginning. And you're back again now. Uh, you're back again now and this year, and, and this is fantastic. It just moves forward. The work continues. Uh, I'm not going to say a whole lot today. I just, I, I saw the last speaker up here was talking about uh, Abraham Lincoln and Benjamin Franklin and some, some of the other people from history uh, and their view of family. And I, I saw a quote, and I, I was privileged to be in Illinois earlier this year uh, with the, uh, in Springfield, Illinois, at state capitol. And we were there the day before the legislative session opened, and I just want to give you an idea of what happened there. We actually had an opportunity to sit down. Now, for those of you involved or not involved in politics, the day before opening day of a legislative session is usually a pretty busy day for the leadership at the legislature. The uh, Speaker of the House in Illinois spent an hour and a half with us listening about our issues and what we had to say, and by the time it was done, Three or four months later, they had announced a family law study commission sponsored by the legislature to look at our issues to rewrite the family law in the state of Illinois. Since that's happened, the same thing has happened in Alabama. There's a guy named Mike Polamini over there. Uh, the same thing has happened in Alabama. I was informed that it's also happened in Minnesota uh, with Molly Olson. And what I, the reason I'm pointing this out is this, is that when we work in a coordinated fashion, when we work with an objective in mind, we can reach our objectives and we're taking the steps the progress uh, sometimes seems interminably slow but it is progress and that's about all I'm gonna say I want to leave you with one quote though we happened to be in Illinois in, in the beginning of the year and I was walking through uh, the Lincoln Monument there the Lincoln Museum and I was struck by a quote of Abraham Lincoln's uh, who it was on the wall and I'd never heard or seen this about Lincoln but Lincoln made made the statement, uh, and it was actually reported by Mrs. Lincoln, uh, and, and the statement was, President Lincoln said that love is the chain that binds the heart of a child to its parents, and I think it is, so much I've heard about love here today, and it is the love that we have for our children that will actually carry the day here, because so many people that are, so many of the people and organizations that are arrayed against us are not founded and based in love for our kids. They're based in their bureaucracies. They're based in the business of managing our family lives. And we will rise above and be able to, to, uh, to overcome the obstacles that we face. We have some very clear plans for doing that. We're generating additional support on the Hill all the time. Uh, but folks, you didn't come here to hear me yak. I actually had the privilege of introducing uh, somebody who really needs no introduction. Uh, he's the former president of ACFC. He is now uh, a professor of U.S. government at Patrick Henry University. Um, you know, he wrote this book that really just, you know, everybody kind of ignored. I'm just kidding about that. This book is actually setting people and centers of influence on fire with respect to the issue. And as far as I know, I've not seen anybody refute in any manner what's in this particular book. I just don't know of it. I think, you know, they may try. They're not able to do this. Um, I was going to tell this really cool story about Steve, but he said, no, that may, this may not be the best place to do it. So I'm not going to tell the story that I have to tell, uh, but this guy really is a, uh, a fighter for civil rights, not only with his words, but with his actions. So ask him sometime to tell you the story about his civil rights activism with respect to what's going on here, aside from the book. Um, but as I said, a uh, uh, fellow who received his doctorate in uh, economics from uh, London, what is it, the London School of Economics received his doctorate, now uh, an associate professor at uh, Patrick Henry, uh, of government at Patrick Henry, but someone that we know and love is, as uh, our own Stephen Baskerville. Thanks, Steve. I like that. I'd love to have uh, a few judges answer to me. I know that uh, at some point they will actually answer. Uh, I know the system will answer. And folks, I don't know that, that we're going to be able to do much for you know our particular situations, but I can assure you that uh, as long as people like Baskerville, as long as people like myself, and as long as people like you draw breath, they're not going to do this to our kids. Our kids won't live through the same system that we've lived through. Uh, 50 people signed the Declaration of Independence and look what was created out of that particular activity. We can get this done and we will.